Hey guys, Andy back here from Mediocre Hobbies coming at you with another demon painting tutorial. So it has come to my attention, as many of you has requested in a lot of the comments in the videos, for me to do some Slanesh demons, as there isn't a single Slanesh demon video on my channel so far. I've done Corn, Nurgle and Zinch already, but no Slanesh. So we're going to change that here today by knocking out the first in a Slanesh series, which is of course the Humble Demonette. So let's get into it. Okay, I've decided to go for the of Demonette Superior. I don't know what the boss of a Demonette squad is called, but that's the one that I've built. Sprayed black and then sprayed with grey sear to give it a really nice base coat for contrast and shades. Speaking of shades, that's actually what I'm going to begin with in this particular video, as all of the purple contrasts are far too dark and too strong for the kind of skin tone that we want to achieve here with the Demonette. So going straight to Druti Violet Shade, and we're going to apply this all over the skin of the demonette. This is going to give a really nice soft kind of like a lavender uh, tint to the skin, which is exactly what we want to do for a demonette. I've said many times before that if you're looking to get started into the world of Warhammer, demon app armies are actually fantastic ways of getting into the hobby. There's a couple of different reasons this. One, there's four different types of demons. They're all extremely different in aesthetic, all with different play styles. So you can basically get our best of a bunch of different worlds by collecting demons. You can use the armies in both 40k and Age of Sigmar. So you don't have to choose which system you want to play with. The same army can be used in both. And one of the most important things, they are one of the easiest armies to paint and get a really nice standard from. Um, and they're really quick to paint. So it'll give you a sense of accomplishment in the hobby really fast, which I think is super important for people getting started. We're gonna move over to uh, Mago's Purple Contrast and we're gonna give her hair a coat of that. I say her, I've always assumed uh, demonettes were female, but of course they are unisex. They're both male and female all mashed into one. Um, so it, pinky purpley hair so the makeup's purple contrast look perfect for that and um, for setting that tone after that we're going to move over to black templar contrast and we are going to black out all of the cloth or leather or latex or whatever material that the clothes that the demonette is wearing plus the claws so there's a bit of like pink skin in between the thumbs and the thumb armor, pincy claw armor, I don't know. Um, but I basically go by the box art, you can see that. So be careful not to black those parts in when you're doing this stage on your demonettes. And that's the thing, this is basically only three main parts to the entire army, sorry, the entire model. It's just skin, hair, and everything else basically. So after these three parts are blacked in, we're gonna throw a known oil shade all over the entire model, just to add a little bit of extra shade. We wanna make sure this is in pool. We don't want any really dark kind of blobs of black um, anywhere it's not supposed to be. So just pay attention as you're applying this. Make sure you drag any excess shade away from where it wants to go. Make sure it only goes where you want it to go. While the shade is drying, I'm also going to base the miniature. Now, I base all my chaos and all my demon stuff in the same color scheme so that I've ever decided I want to play them as one big grand army, whether that be in fantasy or sci-fi, um, I'll be able to do that. So here's the model shaded and with a base done. Now we're going to very quickly build up some colors. Not many, and it's not going to take long. So we're going to go for a slanesh gray. This is the slowest stage of painting this miniature, but even then it's not very slow. All we're going to do is a quick highlight on the skin. I know this looks tedious, but it's really not. There's not actually that much skin showing. So I'd say all in all to layer up with the slash gray on this skin, it took, I don't know, 30 seconds to 45 seconds total to get that done. Um, which means you can paint up a squad of demonettes in an evening. Which I think is really a really good going for painting up an army. You couldn't paint a unit of space marines in an evening, I don't think. You do them kind of threes at a time, and if you're really fast, maybe fives at a time. Certainly not ten. 
and all I'm gonna do is leave the shaded down other shade, I guess, the Drucci Violet, um, in the recesses, and just add a nice little bit of uh, line highlighting with the Demon at Hide. After that, we're going to jump over to Grace here, the base paint, and we are basically going to dry brush the rest of the miniature with this really light across the hair, just to catch all the raised areas. And we're going to do exactly the same thing with all of the black parts. We just want to catch the very edges of those pieces. Just to add a little bit of definition as black is such a dark color. And the shadow and kind of highlights of it don't really stand out all that much. So throwing this really nice little edge highlight across the raised areas really does make those parts pop and adds a really nice quick finishing touch. A few other things you can do is to paint the eyes black. If you want to go the extra mile and paint the mouth, go for it. But a demonette army is going to have 60, 70 demonettes in the army, so I wouldn't bother with that. And that's how I'm going to leave a demonette. Beautiful, simple, and painted. Okay guys, and there we have it, one demonette painted using, what, five or six paints? Maybe five, six minutes of painting time. Um, I think it's a great scheme for getting a, a large number of demonettes painted and on the table really quickly. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. Ask me any questions you want below in the comments. And if you want to support me in this channel, the two best ways for you to do that is number one, make sure you're subscribed. About 40% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. That leaves 60% of you guys watching that aren't. So take two seconds out of your day and hit that button. And two, if you want to help me grow this channel to greater heights, there's links to things like my Patreon below, which will give you access to a bunch of different rewards, like access to a private Discord server and private videos. Thank you guys so much for watching the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.